Hi guys. I am beginning to work for the day. Happy Monday. And I thought that I would just maybe do a SVG or two with you to show you more about Inkscape. And I really wish I could do these live, but you just wouldn't see the screen as good as you can when I do the screen capture. But we will, um, maybe I'll try that later. We'll see. All right, so next on our list is Kristen. Let's, um, so what I do is I just save the image to my desktop, and then I go into Inkscape, and then I pull the image into Inkscape. All right, so I just have, like, something to look at right now, so I have to go back and forth. Make it big so I know that it's wording. All right, so as, if you have been in Inkscape before, you know it's not like a word processor, so... You need to do one line at a time. So let's go over to the, the letter A, which is your create and edit text objects. We'll click on that. Let me come over to our document uh, workspace. Let me just click there. So I'm going to write torn between, and then you have to click again down. For your next line, looking like a snack and eating one. That's really funny. I select all so I could see what I am doing. I'm sure there's a setting where I could type larger, but I just am lazy and I haven't looked for it yet. Alright, so what I do is kind of put the words where they need to be. Now, you remember, I try to put a different twist on the designs that you asked me to make. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but it's kind of nice because it's like my own when I do that. So just looking at these fonts, I already know pretty much what they are, but we will go to wordmark just in case we need it. And here we click on our text and we go down to text and font and I'm going to say that's my skinny because there might be another one. kind of like it. If I come across it and we're... That's my... That's the wrong my skinny. Oh, it's not my skinny. It's the skinny. That's my... There it is. Okay. So, that's that. And then eating was the same. And then we're going to do snack. I know that font, but I just... Let's put snack in here. I think it's Algerian or something like that. This is what takes me the most longest, I think. <laughs> Finding the fonts. I just want to congratulate Pam again. That was awesome. She won the favorite project contest. She won herself $100 for the website. That's kind of cute. Let's try Gab. That's kind of cute. We'll do that unless we find something else. All right, try sudden desires. No, oh, I did capital I. All right, so torn between looking like a snack and eating one. So one, I want one and like a to be the same font. So I don't want too many different fonts in here. So let's go back up and put like a and one so we can see what they both look like. Okay. Do, 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 do. And if you don't know about this website, you don't have to download anything, but somehow, the other side, like, how do they know? Like, like the internet knows everything, and it's kind of creepy that they know what's in my computer. But it is a helpful little gadget when you're working like this. It's like crazy. My daughter's pregnant, and last week we were talking about something. I don't even know what it was. It'll come to me. Um, it'll come to me, but... We were literally talking about it. Neither one of us went on Google. Neither one of us went on Facebook. And that night, it showed up in my newsfeed on Facebook as an ad. And I'm just like, all right, this is just, it's its creepy. Okay, that looks good. Of course, let's see how it's cut off there. Once you make an object, it won't be like that. Or when you pull away. Sometimes it, I don't know why it does that. but All right, so we're going to make one bigger. We're going to make Leica smaller. So let's just go and see if we can find a different snack. If not, that's kind of cute. I like that. 
stands out. I like for the and sign. I like Tingler. It's cute. I like the Tingler one. I think. All right, let's do that. I'm gonna make eating bigger. Now, I, let's save it before something crazy happens because that's just my life. Let's save as torn between a snack. Okay. And let's take one more peek at the uh, word mark and see if we can find another file that looks like that first one. I don't think I have one, but I kind of like that one. I don't see anything else, so I think I'm going to leave it. And this is why it takes me so long sometimes. And I'm sure you all know that because that's why you have me do them. <laughs> Who wants to sit here and do this all day? You got, this, you got other creating to do. This just happens to be my job now, since I can't be on my feet and work, so I sit on the couch or at my craft table and I work on the computer. Alright, now, what do we do? Select all, path, object to path, object, ungroup. Now, since we're doing a lot of text at once, it might take a minute. Okay, there we go. As you can see, but see how now the whole, everything is ungrouped. So you click off of it and then go one at a time. Path, union, 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 union. Now I'm not going to union this guy, but I am going to make him a path. And I'm going to ungroup him. Oh, he's ungrouped anyway, never mind. All right, so eating, union, and one. Union. Okay, so now all your text is done. Just for the sake of uh, keeping everything straight here, I'm going to just I'm going to group these two, excuse me, objects together. Because if I centered them the way they were, this and would be in the middle. I don't know. I didn't want that, so I group these together. Now I'll select all, and I can center this way. Okay, now I can see it better. All right, now we need, what are those donuts on there? Yeah, extra snack. All right, so let's um, do some offset. So everything is unions, so we could oh, offset now, remember? So we go down the link, offset, take your free hand, the shift control, and it's pink. So let's just pick a pink. And then eating is also offset. Okay, how am I getting it on offset first, Kimberly? Oh, you know why I can't do that? <laughs> That's a good lesson. See, I learn from my mistakes and I can teach you at the same time. When they're grouped, you can't offset it. But you can only offset something that's union together. So let's ungroup it. Link to offset. Make that a object to path. See those nodes? That's where your machine's going to cut. If you don't see those nodes, that means it's not your machine's not going to know what to do. Oh, yeah. Like uh, is also. Okay, so path. Linked offset. I did it a little bit so I could see the inside of the L and the K still. I don't like when the offset's filled in. Unless it's a, a huge project. But for just two two words, I don't I'd rather see the inside. So object to path. Click off. Alright. So now we really need to group everything together because when we moving stuff around. That's fine, you don't have to group that, but things like this need to be grouped. So now we could do the centering again. We could bring this guy down. When objects are between objects or close to uh, other objects, see how they bounce? I don't like bouncing. So I just use my Y to bring it down and up, and the X to move it back and forth, or to the left to right. All right, let's put this over here for now, and let's get everything else we need. So we need a barbell and whatever that's called and now you use this in the gym which i don't i only see that on tv because i don't go to the gym that's pizza a drink there's just a bunch of cute little stuff on there but how about we could just put a donut on there all right let's look for a barbell all right let's just get something easy because again you don't want something so crazy because you don't want to have the weed at all that looks nice that looks pretty. So just right click, save image as, import. <clears throat> and most of the time, even though it has that background, 
we can just trace bitmap, brightness cutoff, uncheck smooth, make sure stack scans is checked, and remove background is checked. Update, okay. Click off, bring it down. Yay, we didn't have to unlayer it. Okay, so we can put that in there. All right, and then we're going to, I don't know what the heck that's called, but let's, let's just do weights. Maybe went to the gym once in a while. I would know what that was called. Hand, hand weight? You know, I don't know. See, if I was on live right now, you guys could tell me what it's called. I have to try that. Yeah, let's take this one. Save images. Path. Trace bitmap. Update. Okay. Let's hope they come out good. Yay, I think we could get a good one. Alright, now what do we do with all these? These are good icons. I think I'm going to save that one. Uh, but for now, we could just get rid of what we don't need. So let's see if our race is going to work today. The race are bigger, so it'll be here all day. And just get rid of all, everything that we don't need. Okay, and let's just check it by clicking off. When I say click off, I mean like click back to your arrow that, that stops everything that you've been doing. So we should just have a box around here, okay? So by checking this, if I put this down here, something is up here or in there somewhere that's going to throw the whole image off when you upload it into your design software. So let's see what the heck it is. So we can find out by clicking on it, going to our edit path by nodes. And do you see up here? I left something up here for maybe another image that was on there. So let's get rid of that. And you see now the box is just around what we need. Okay, so I'm going to make this whole thing solid. Because I really don't think she needs all this highlighting. Because this one didn't have it. If she's weeding this, it's going to, this is one less thing she's going to weed. Okay, so I'm going to make this solid. There's two ways to do it. I could do my, my node editor and just go in here and take out the white nodes. Or I could just break it apart. I'm going to show you how to do it both ways. So, so that was just taking the nodes out. Now if you go to path and break it apart, watch what happens. You're going to lose your handle there. Okay? So, Control and Z goes back. That's our back button, remember? Alright, but what I do is I put, I go to the paint can, and I put that in there. I make it a different color. Because sometimes, that's just my habit, because sometimes I have to find a lot of negative space that I need to do for like a background. And I just make it yellow, so I, it reminds me that that's not part of the image. So now I can select the black, path, break apart. And they have all those pieces that were in there. Go back to path, go to union. Now, while that's selected, hit shift, select your yellow, go to path, and difference. And now we have a solid weight thingamajiggy. I know you're all going to tell me what the heck, what, what the heck that is once uh, this video is over. All right, so let's put that over here because i got too much going on over there. And what else do we need? Okay, so let's put one in a box. This is good. I could, so I could explain this too. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, because she could be also be just printing this on water slide. I don't know. That's why... Sometimes I think, like when you tell me that you need a PNG, I know you're, you're, you're definitely printing it. You know, that's why I'm asking in the um, group for you all to try to tell me what you need it for. Printing or cutting. All right, so we're going to select all. We're going to center it on the vertical and the horizontal. Now, I'm going to leave this like this only because I don't know... If she really wants to see through back there. Well, I guess she does. I guess it is. Well, I'm going to leave it just to give her the option. Okay, so 
what happens like that is like so if I was to do that now that this is all ungrouped and union you could do this okay so let's make sure it's centered both ways and then you're gonna do difference okay so now that one is see-through see all right so then we need to fix the barbells I want some bigger this is another thing well, off the side like on your rulers to see where you are for your arrow you could bring in guidelines to help you okay so I only want my project from one line to the other I like to keep everything tight in there so you use your width to bring it back because it bounces remember all right we can make looking smaller okay so then kind of want the barbells to be a little, little bigger than the torn between but not too much. Okay, so let's center that together and see what it looks like. But looking a little smaller. This is why it takes me an hour to do one, guys. All right, but we're not doing that because we need like us. So I just wanted to make sure that the L and the barbells were kind of, and the G were kind of, you know, not overlapping them. So we're going to take like a shift and the barbells over here because otherwise we're going to be having a bounce house over there so let's select everything and center it so now here's another cute trick you want um like uh, in there so how do we do that so we go over here to take a, a square okay then you're going to select both and you're going to go center both ways then you're going to go to path and difference now that's going to fit in there nicely so you select all and we're going to group okay, so let's bring this up and we're going to bring that up oh my gosh it's coming really cute all right now don't forget to uh bring your guidelines back home put them back home they also come down from here too if you ever need to have something like that and i'm gonna just guess that She's going to put her own snacks on there if she wants them. Because that wasn't the focus of what she showed me. This is what the focus that she showed me. So that is that. These all groups still? Yes. Okay. So let's do a final center. <laughs> See? A little thingamajig went in the middle there. Um, let's add that to this group. Now be careful when you're grouping because if you have too many groups... It's not going to show up in your uh, design space. Okay, I think that looks really awesome. All right, so let's get rid of that. Oh, when I do that, when things just disappear, click on it and hit back uh, backspace, or click on it and hit Control X. All right, so let's select all, bring it bring it into our document settings here, and then we're going to do ungroup bring it closer so you can see ungroup so you have nothing else to ungroup down here in the bottom no groups to ungroup in the selection that means everything is separated I'm going to do another video on how to bring this into uh, Cricut and how to weld everything together and so you don't have 15 things all over your page so you're all thinking oh my god you just made a mess all right, control Z. Z, 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 Z. As long as control's held down, it brings it all back. File, save, and then I put my watermark on it. I import my watermark. On group. This just is my is the easiest way I could do it in here. I'm not going to get my my other logo and everything because where do you put the logo I want to I want to protect the whole thing I, I literally made that so I want to protect it all right so then I will go to snipping tool select what I want crop it name it the same thing all right attach files torn between the snack happen to be right there and send then I'll put it on my website all right, so that's the end of this story. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. I'm going to try to do a live 
and um, maybe have you be able to be there to ask me questions. Maybe we can do a project together. So for now, um, adios, and I will talk to you later. Bye.